what is freedom today? In order to be actually free, free to do what I want, I certainly would like to have state and other bodies taking care of things, not only without my cho choice, but even without me knowing about them. On the other hand, are we aware to what extent when we freely choose, our choices are predetermined? This is why I think the last revelations by Wikileaks are so important. They are about TISA, T-I-S-A, a mega important trade agreement, agreement about the free flow of finances and informations, which is something that will predetermine the contours of world economy for decades to come. And not only are negotiations secret, but we learned that even the agreement itself, if it will be accepted, will remain secret for five years. The most dangerous form of non-freedom is a non-freedom which is not even perceived as such. Then there is another form of freedom which I think has a disastrous impact and we shouldn't underestimate it. I met at some point in Belgrade in the late 90s, uh, when Milosevic was still in power, some probably ethnic cleansers, nationalists. And I'm even ashamed now for doing this. I got in conversation with them and they gave me a wonderful short lesson on how nationalist fundamentalism worked. They told me, we experience your Western liberal world as over-regulated. You know, you are all the time bombarded by messages of be politically correct, don't be a racist, be careful what you eat, discipline yourself, and so on and so on. And as they told me openly, I want to eat whatever I want, smoke, I want to steal when I want, I want to beat women, rape them, and so on. And becoming a nationalist doing some ethnic cleansing give me this terrifying freedom. This is why I was not surprised when I heard that in the area of Iraq and Syria controlled by ISIS, it's not just religious fundamentalism. There are also gang rapes, uh, tortures, uh, freelance killings, and so on. You see, this is the problem of fundamentalism. It's not just there is no freedom. There also is this kind of false freedom, the explosion of this obscene freedom. For me, the highest form of freedom is love. Here I'm a pathetic old romantic. Love basically means that you totally dedicate yourself to one other person. You renounce one of the key freedoms of choice to exchange sexual partners and so on. Now comes my surprise. This freedom is now gradually taken from us. I think our ideal today is love without the fall. And you know, I found some dating agency which plays on this. They say, we will render possible to you to find yourself in love without the fall. No, I think the only free love is the fall. You walk along the street, you sleep on a banana peel, a lady helps you, maybe it will be the love of your life. But you cannot predict it. Without this fall, love, love is not love. So the lesson is true freedom means looking into and questioning the presuppositions of everything that is given to us by our hegemonic ideology. And by ideology, I don't mean here some explicit teaching, but simply the way in our daily lives we experience our reality. To question everything, including the notion of freedom itself. There's a lot wrong with the world at the moment, isn't there? Can we agree on that? Let's not get into the specifics of what, for God's sake.